Dear learners, today we will see about enzymes and enzyme containing crude drugs. The objectives behind this topic are students should know about enzymes and various drugs and also they should know about the synonym, botanical source, morphology, chemical nature, chemical constituent, uses, substitutes and irritants as well as storage condition of crude drugs. The enzymes are defined as these are the protein substances used as therapeutic agents and are isolated from plants and animals sources as well as from microorganisms. Enzymes act as a biological catalyst. They play a vital role in functioning the cells and the activities of the organisms. Very first enzyme is diastase. Diastase has a multi synonym such as they are also called as malt diastase, salivary diastase, amylose as well as tylene. Biologically, this diastase is nothing but which is a malt extract obtained from the dried barley grains of varieties of Hordino vulgari. It is one of the amylytic enzyme present in saliva that is salivary diastase and in digestive tract of animal as animal diastase which belongs to family Poesi. Important amylytic enzymes are zymase, maltase, sucrase, cellulase, cellulase, invertase, hyaluronidase and lysozyme. The important characteristic of this enzyme malt diastase is yellowish white amorphous powder obtained from infusion of malt. It is soluble in water forming colloidal solution. It is precipitated by alcohol. Diastase enzymes are most active in neutral solution. Acidic condition destroys the activity of diastase. The enzyme is destroyed by heat also. It is active between 35 to 40 degrees centigrade. Diastase convert starch into disaccharide maltase. Chemically, it contains dextrin, maltose, traces of glucose and amylytic enzyme diastase. Diastase is used as digestant, used in production of pre-digested starchy food and as a brewing industry. Our second drug is yeast. Yeast is also known as khamir. Biologically, yeast consists of the unicellular fungal microorganism named as Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which belongs to family Saccharomyces. Morphologically, this yeast has a color white, whitish. Odor characteristic. Taste is a broth-like. And size, it is a unicellular microorganism which measures less than 1.5 micron. Chemical constituents of yeast. Yeast contains about 85% of moisture. Nitrogenous compounds that is proteins, glycogen, fats and vitamins. Vitamins reported in yeast are thymine, riboflavin, nicotinic acid, pantothenic acid, folic acid and biotin. And enzymes reported in the drug are invertase, diastase, zymase, and maltase. Yeast is used in manufacturing of alcohol, beer, and various wines. It is also used in bread industry to raise the dough. Irradiated yeast has been used as a source of vitamin D. Glutathione and invertase are also manufactured from the yeast. It is a good source of protein also. Our third drug is papaya. Synonym of papaya is also called as a papain. Biologically, papain is a dried and purified latex 
obtained after incision to unripe papaya fruit of Karika papaya, which belongs to family Karikaceae. Morphologically, papaya has a color white or grayish white, which is a hygroscopic powder with a characteristic odor and very typical and broth like taste. Papain is soluble in water and glycerin, insoluble in organic solvents. Chemically, papain contains papain itself and chymopapain as an active chemical components. Papain follows two chemical tests. Very first, in papaya latex and water, if we shake well this mixture and if in this, if you add potassium permanganate solution, the decolorization of permanganate solution takes place. Very second test, in 20 ml of milk, if we add 0.5 gram of papaya latex, the milk curdles. The uses of papaya, it is a famous digestant, anti-inflammatory agent, used in clarification of beverages and as meat tenderizer, cheese manufacture. It is also used as substitute of renin and also used in relieving the symptoms of epicytomy. Thank you. In the storage condition for this papaya, it is very sensitive to air, light, moisture and high temperature. It undergoes auto-oxidation very fast and hence should be stored in well-closed and well-filled container away from light and in cool place.